Hey yo guys, what is up? Louis Osmist here, and today we are back with another review. Today we are reviewing the Fifine K683A USB microphone. So this is a USB microphone that can be connected via USB-A or USB-C, has a volume dial, a mute button, and low latency monitor. So it is pretty cool and it also comes with a, a pop filter which is nice to see and yeah looking around the box here um, understand your voice better just pretty simple things a little bit of a message there in case you guys do want to read that um, their support and website and just a little bit more information about the microphone and yeah all right so opening up the box right now um, the first thing that we are greeted with is just the uh, welcome and the instruction manual. That's pretty standard. And here we will take a look inside the instruction manual. And you guys can read this if you want. I will leave it on the screen in case you guys do want. Overall, these instructions are pretty laid out and thoroughly written and explained very well. So props to Fifine for that. And overall does make pretty good for instructions. Another key important thing is to always make sure to talk directly into the microphone. That's very important. And the switches will be red and green for mute and unmute. And you can also monitor this microphone using a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is pretty cool. And it's pretty easy to set up. Just plug and play and you should be ready to go ready to start using your brand new microphone very easy to set up and overall seems like a pretty good package and yeah all right now let's see what we have. So here we have the little information, like the company's Facebook, their contact, a little bit of a word from them. And yeah, there's not too much here. Just thank you for purchasing and those things. And yeah, it comes with a two year warranty, which is pretty nice. So that's pretty good. All right, going inside the box now, underneath the protector is the microphone itself. And there's also a little black box. So yeah, let's take a look inside the black box right now. All right, so inside this black little box, we have a few things. Now the rundown is the pop filter pretty nice to see then we have the tripod and the cable itself that you're going to be connecting it to pretty nice to see the tripod is a great inclusion built out of metal very solid flexible and a great inclusion overall and for the price that this thing is at it's pretty good for what you're getting all right, and then we have the microphone itself. Here it is. It looks pretty good, it looks pretty robust. And it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's nothing substantial, but it's nice. And you can unscrew that. And yeah, and then once you are done unscrewing that, you can just pop that out and then you can Hold it and you can plug it in directly if you really want to. There you have your volume dial. So you can adjust the volume on the mic instead of going into Windows. And your mute and unmute button. 
And then on the back, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for direct monitoring. And overall looks like it's a pretty complete package. All right, now let's look into Windows. So when we open the change system sound profile, we have the Fifine microphone here. And these are the properties here you guys can't see. You do have your loudness, your levels, and your advanced. And this thing can go up to 24 bits, which is really nice to see in a microphone at this price. And overall is very impressive for a microphone coming in at this price. You can customize it a little bit. And yeah. Now let's do a quick sound test and compare it to something against like a Rode pod mic, which is not direct comparison compared to other things at the price point, but does scale between a USB microphone and an XLR microphone. So let's get into that. All right, guys, so this is how the Fifine microphone sounds. Now, I do think that it sounds pretty well, and to be a USB microphone and coming in at around this price point, it does sound very well. I'll leave it up to you guys to decide whether you guys think whether it is better or worse than the Rode Pod mic. Personally, I think for a USB microphone, this is really, really good and one of the best that you can get for this price point. I would definitely recommend this microphone. Now, let's get back to the review. All right, guys, so at the end of all of this, overall, this microphone is really good for the price. And to be a USB microphone, it performs pretty well, and I would recommend it to anyone looking for maybe their first microphone or a great microphone to start off with. So I would highly recommend it, and I would recommend anyone to check it out, maybe just purchase it, see if you guys like it, see if you don't, and tell me what you guys think of this microphone in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys did enjoy it and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.